Okay, so you clicked on this video, so you probably have a thing for Rickenbacker guitars. When I passed by this window in the late 1990s, I saw a Ruby Red 360 and I just knew I had to get it. Luck would have it that a few weeks later I finished a job and with the last paycheck money I went back to the shop and took it home. So here it is. It's been my main guitar and you can see that it's been lovingly abused. It has the prettiest African rosewood fretboard with 24 tiny frets. Um, the binding has aged in a beautiful way. The guitar has finished checking from when we were touring during cold weather. And then, of course, there's the mysterious fifth knob and the equally mysterious second output jack. The bridge sits on a metal plate, and originally this one had a cover over the saddles that prevents you from palm muting the strings. The R tailpiece hooks into the strap lock like this, and if you turn the tailpiece by 90 degrees, it actually looks like a baby dinosaur, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's hear some sounds. Bridge pickup. Both pickups. Neck pickup. The fifth knob controls the output of the neck pickup. If you turn it up, you reduce the output. Turn it down, neck pickup gets louder. In the middle position, it's like a blender, basically. And in the bridge, it does nothing. So since all of that is kind of confusing, I just keep everything in the middle. Here I took the strings off to show you the grain of the wood and the frets that have seen a lot of action. And if you look closely at the pickups, the pole pieces are actually not really symmetrical, which doesn't bother me. Let's hear some more sounds. Scale length is 24.75 inches, pretty much like on a Gibson. At the uh, nut, you have uh, 1.63 inches. The 335 is a little bit wider, but not that much. But then at the 24th fret, it's uh, 1.93 for the 360. And the 335 has 2.08 inches, so that's quite a bit more. So, what kind of wisdom can I give you after spending some 20 plus years in the company of this instrument? Well, this thing, it has its own unique voice and I'm just madly in love with it after all this time, more than ever. So if you get a chance to play one, you'll notice that it'll make you play differently. It'll inspire you to think of something new musically, play different stuff than what you would play on your other guitars. And that's probably one of the greatest things you can say about a musical instrument. So that's for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.